in its own body of water in an undisclosed location right now. And I was thinking about my stream of kind of choices for this week. It's my conscious choice to talk about something that's beneficial to somebody other than myself. Maybe one person out there is watching. I know I'm usually talking to myself, but today what I'm thinking about is footprints. And there's physical footprints in the sand, but what I want to talk about is emotional footprints. What kind of a footprint do we leave in our daily lives emotionally for ourselves or for other people? I'm talking about the energy we put out there into the world. Now, if a dog walks by, there's a lot of dogs on this beach right now. He might join me in the video. Anyway, so the emotional footprint we put in people's lives around us. Say we're at a meeting at work. There he is. He's coming. He's putting some footprints. He's making me happy. You're at a meeting at work and everybody's all jammed up, right? They're all in the conflict cycle. Are you going to join them in that cycle and you add to that footprint of negative energy and conflict and strife? Are you going to be like that Himalayan salt lamp that's just sitting there peacefully trying to diffuse everybody's energy? It's not easy to be like that because it's a lot easier to get in it. That's what's happening socially and politically in the world right now with so many things going on. We can definitely add to that and that's a lot easier than being the opposite. So thinking about, you know, how can I change my reactions in the world? And I've talked about that on some of the other videos too. But just think about when you are with someone, what emotionality are you giving them? So what's your emotional weather inside of you? Is it stormy? Is it a tropical storm? Is it a hurricane, a tornado waiting to unleash next to anyone you're with? And if you think about what that weather does to somebody else, and you could see that from a, standing up here and looking down on how you are to other people in either a room or in a meeting or with one other person in your life, if you could see what that stormy emotional weather does to other people, you'd probably stop doing that. So I know that I've had reactivity over the past six months. It's really difficult not to. We've been in quarantine. We've been seeing things on the news, but you know, getting out somewhere where there's not a lot going on, and again, not a lot of cell phone service or Wi-Fi service, you kind of detox from what's going on, and you start to think about what you've been like, maybe what's going on in your life, and it kind of feels better to not get involved and engaged in things. Your emotional weather on the inside of you actually improves. And so the footprint that you're giving other people is more positive. Now you can use this in any example. Say you're at a meeting at work and everybody's very conflictual and there's resentments and there's grievances and you get a bunch of people together in one room and everybody has their own agenda, including you, including me. And if we all add to that, the energy in that room is like fireworks about to erupt, right? Or a volcano. Maybe think about next time when you're in that situation, being that person that's like the Himalayan salt lamp if you, anybody who doesn't know what that is, it's a lamp you kind of plug in. You can get on Amazon for 10 bucks, and it's got positive ions in it. And it just diffuses some negative ions in the room. And it's a soft glow, and it just makes people feel better. So they say, whether or not it's placebo, it doesn't matter. It always makes me feel better. So think of yourself as this lamp. You're not absorbing everybody's energy and taking it in stressfully. You're just calmly and peacefully diffusing what's going on. Maybe you're thinking positive things about other people or you're just neutral. Even neutrality can really help a situation. And that footprint that you've left at that meeting is not adding to the emotionally charged weather that's a hurricane or a tropical storm. And now think about yourself in a relationship. And when you have a grievance and you're resentful of things in your life and you affect that other person and infect that other person, with the weather inside of you. And they might be sunny days all the time. And you might feel like tsunami waiting to erupt. They've said something, there it is, right? The trigger. And then you unleash the beast. Like these waves out here, and you unleash it. So the footprint you've left on that person with your emotional weather is now affecting them. Is it up to the other person to not take it in? Sure it is. Oh, it's always up to them. However, all have a responsibility for the emotional energy we're putting out there to other people. So just think about the footprint that you're leaving in someone else's life. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it neutral? Do you 
want to draw people into your dramas all the time. Or maybe you can say, I've done that long enough and I need to stop doing that. I want to stop doing that. So just start with neutral. Just start with, you know what? I'm going to go to this meeting. I'm just not going to say anything right now because I'm always talking. I know I'm always talking. I got to hear my voice talk. I got to hear my point get across. It's really important that everybody hears what I have to say. It really isn't because everyone else is talking to a lot of big giant egos talking all the time. We got enough egos in this world right now, right? Especially in this country. So let's change ourselves to change the world around us by having more of a positive influence on how we react, how we think, how we speak. And it could be just as simple as sitting anywhere in nature, sitting in your home, turning off the news and not taking in that negative energy and just thinking about things in a positive way or praying, right? I'm saying it. God, universe, source, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, whoever. Pray for the peace and the calmness of this world to come and help us please right now. Because if you're one person that's doing that and there's 50 people who are being negative, they say that one positive person can affect so many people, more than you know. That's why we have all these monks and Buddhists sitting in caves right now praying and meditating for this world. And I'll tell you what, they're keeping us in balance. I truly believe that. So you can be part of that collective. Be part of the positive emotional collective and watch the footprints that you leave in someone else's life. Because they're gonna look back and they're gonna say, wow, that person didn't add to my negative stress. They just held that positive emotion for me because I couldn't do it for myself. Think about a family member in distress. You want to get all engaged in it, right? You want to, ah, we're all mad about this. Just be the person that's peaceful and calm and put a hand on that person's shoulder and say, I'm here for you. Tell me what you need and I will try to do my best for you. And don't engage in the conflict and the anger and the rage and the justice for it. Sometimes you have to be the person that disengages and that's more powerful than a bunch of people going crazy. Remember Gandhi? I think we do. See what he did? And, you know, I think that we can all turn this world around if at least one person who sees this does something positive in their life to change their emotional footprint that they leave in others' lives by changing their emotional weather. Don't be a tsunami. Be a sunny day. All right, everybody. Talk to you again soon. Thank you for listening.